A handsome, tough-looking boy of nine popped up from behind the table and was menacing with a toy gun, while his little sister, about two years younger, made the same gesture. Winston raised his hands above his head, but with an uneasy feeling. So, so vicious was the boy's demeanor that it was not altogether a game. You're a traitor, yelled the boy. You're a thought criminal. You're a Eurasian spy. I'll shoot you. I'll vaporize you. I'll send you to the salt mines. Suddenly they were, they were both leaping around him, shouting traitor, thought criminal. <laughs> uh, good morning. The polar vexus is among us. Let me get the hell out of here. Ah, borrowing a little heat from Starbucks. So, uh, wow, dive right out into the cold. Boo! It's about 20 degrees in New York right now. It's not so bad. <laughs> Especially when you're sitting in Starbucks, right? So that was uh, George Orwell, right? It was Winston, um, whoa, it's windy. I'll go this way. Get out the wind. Get out the wind. So I want to talk about three things today. The Yellow Vest Act uh, 13 and uh, the Green New Deal. That's getting a lot of hype. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk about the Venezuelan coup. But uh, but what was Orwell saying? Orwell's he's describing a, a scene where he, he walks into a, a, a family house, an ordinary family in 1984. And the children are thoroughly brainwashed and uh, subservient to Big Brother. Traitor! Everybody's a traitor. Everybody's a uh, everybody's a thought criminal, right? Any opposing ideas, right? And that's very—I mean—it's very revealing. I think it's—it's it's not just today. It's not just children. It's anybody who watches uh, mainstream media would fall into that that idea of that everybody's a thought criminal right? uh, you got we'll talk about Venezuela and that's where it's most um, most prevalent right? so what do we want to start uh, let's start with uh, yellow vest okay so today is is the Saturday the week 13 of the yellow vest the French are out in numbers big numbers a million strong out on the street same same images you know coming in police brutality be beatings with sticks gas bombs and and rubber bullets being fired ba 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 billy clubs right there's no change there right but they're holding they're holding tough 70% 75% of the the people are for ousting the oligarchy the oligarchy itself and the international community are still silent on it I would say the people are winning, you know. There's no big change. They wanted to run the banks. That didn't happen. They called for all-out boycott. We'll see. I mean, you know, the weather's going to break soon. There's going to be millions and millions of people in France. French Revolution, man, they're not giving in. They, The yellow vests are not going away. So we salute you. Viva France. <laughs> all right. America, eh, there's nothing going on here, man. People are too brainwashed. They watch the, the State of the Union and see the oligarchy all out numbers, right? You know, all the corrupt politicians. Capitalism! <laughs> You're all traitors! Right? And, uh, you know, that's where we're at, right? So... So let's talk about this Green New Deal. So uh, Alessandra Casio Cortez is the uh, is the Democratic punching bag, right? She's the one who gets the shit, right? As if she invented the Green New Deal, <laughs> as if Jill Stein and Bernie Sanders and every progressive candidate before them never mentioned that that we should, at some point, make our way to uh, green energy. Wind and solar, right? Solar panels. Get off fossil fuels so that we don't keep polluting the air that we breathe. It's like, 
you know, it's as uh, you know, Earth is a capsule. It's a it's a it's a bubble, right? And we 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 we're, we're we're poisoning our own air, right? Isn't it logical rather than suck out fossil fuels until there's none left, causing gaps in the you know gaps in the ground and causing tsunamis and earthquakes and all this other stuff, right? All this catastrophic damage that everybody denies, <laughs> or at least the the profiteers deny. Doesn't it just simply make sense to take the power of the sun? Ah, look how powerful it is. Oh, it's powerful. Powerful sun, the wind, using, using the energy of the wind, right? Solar, wind power. Oh, it's all, it's all, it's all theory, even some nuclear. Drop some nuclear down, right? Uh, it's just, it makes a lot of sense. It's logical. Green New Deal, jobs. Get away from, from everybody with a car and go for, for high-speed rail across the country. Maybe even across the oceans. It's not unrealistic. Right? If it was unrealistic, then we'd have to say that the building subways and giant bridges in America is all, it was all just ridiculous. So the idea of a Green New Deal... I mean, I know the pundits are having a blast with it because Ocasio Cortez is the is the punching bag, is the idiot, and it makes more sense now that the Democrats picked her for just that reason. Like, you got Nancy Pelosi denying, like, what? I don't know, Green Deal? What the fuck is that? Like, they're, they're even they're they're not only denying now they're not now they're not just denying uh, climate change. Try to get out of this wind. I hope you don't hear that as a. <sighs> but um, not only are they uh, uh, not accepting climate change as a as a reality, but now they're denying that there's that there was ever discussion of a, a green new deal from Pelosi, right? And Ocasio Cortez, the one speaking up about it. I know people don't like her, but that's not the point. The point is that she is speaking up and and putting it out there. And you could see, oh, you want to check out the dogs? What's up, dog? Hey, dog. It's a veterinarian. Got this cool dog, dog mural. Woof. What's up, dogs? The guy credit. Ah. So they're denying, you know, they're, they're going to not only that, but they're going to challenge the messenger at a primary in 2020 and try to knock her out. Now, Democratic primaries are rigged, so the possibility of knocking out Ocasio-Cortez in the primary is is very uh, is very likely. And I know you guys like that, right? People like that because she's a horse teeth and she's an idiot and she's she's stupid and she's ignorant. And she doesn't know what she's doing, but she's putting out the the message that a Green New Deal. Going in that direction, millions of jobs in the solar, you know, solar uh, 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 areas and and building wind turbines, right? Weaning ourselves off of fossil fuel is a great idea. Right? That's undeniable, right? Cow farts. You heard cow farts. Well, the, you know, I, I'll make the argument that that uh, humanity should be vegan and vegetarian, but I'll leave that for another time because, woo! <laughs> Not only is it a uh, bad for the environment. The cows aren't having... I mean, they, do you think they're laughing right now? Cow farts? They're fucking suffering, man. The animals are suffering. Uh, so, right, so what else is this all about? I'm going to try again to get out of the wind. It's fucking cold. Ah, I got a little gas station spot here. So, excessive privatization. I got my note here, sorry. Excessive privatization and corporations are both consequences of capitalism. Where privately owned, pri where privately owned and unaccountable large corporations replace government in setting policy and making decisions. Right. That's the that's the story of, of Venezuela. That's the story of America right now. Where privately owned country com companies. Right, have replaced government decision making. Have replaced the 
Constitution of the United States of America. Right? Venezuela is a sovereign nation. You have Pompeo, you have Elliot Abrams, you have Steve Mnuchin, Donald Trump, Mike Pence, right? Goldman Sachs and the CIA is right in there, right? Right? Surrounding the good president Donald Trump in trying to get the oil now now undis indisputably, right? Three weeks ago I said, Oh, it's about oil. People say, Oh, it's about saving the fucking saving the fucking people. They're eating their dogs. Socialists. Right? It's probably the only the only time you'll ever get hit by a vehicle in New York is by a fucking sleeping grumpy bus driver. Right? <laughs> but but that's the that's what's going on, right? So you got all you know, you got you got the president of the United States from screaming from the podium at the state Depart at the State of the Union, the false State of the Union, saying that we will never be a socialist country, and then they they turn it and 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 go after Venezuela's oil, as if there's some sort of historical reason. The word, the contents of the word, socialism, is justification to invade a foreign nation, steal their resources. And do the do the bidding of corporations in America that don't reciprocate to the people that take the money and run, right? Oligarchy, monopoly, right? That's what's going on in Venezuela. What's the new news there? I, I mean, you know, Maduro. They gave didn't they give Maduro 15 days to hold elections? He told him, "Fuck you." They tried to send in a uh, UN or a NATO humanitarian supply from Colombia and 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 Venezuela and uh, the the uh, they they blocked off the bridge for the supplies to come in because if they take humanitarian aid then they would be subjected to humanitarian intervention military intervention or something like that All right so they said fuck you they that's like the the tea party right take your tea and shove it that's what the Venezuelan people just said to the to the Americans trying to squeak in, you know, crumbs. Right? Meanwhile they're they're freezing all they freeze the US is freezing all their accounts, massive sanctions trying to sink the country, right? Freezing their 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 liquid assets, right, in, in their oil money. Right? And and having the balls to say, here, take some crumbs. We know you're starving. Be <laughs> Here's some crumbs. So, so will we see a new Green Deal? <laughs> no, the politics doesn't allow it, right? That that the the idea of it is wonderful, and you're seeing all the the jerk off politicians say that they're for it, but they know that it'll never pass. They know that it's something that could never come to be in in the United States under the current circumstances. The money in politics, the politicians on the take. Uh, the, 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 the 535 congressmen and senators who take the money. Right? In most, in most countries and at most times, that would be called high treason. Right? Where, where the, the government officials are taking money from multinational organizations foreign entities right and bidding against the people of a country that's called treason that's 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 being a traitor to your country right so we currently have a political establishment congress and senate the executive branch who are now traitors of our country because they're not doing the will of the people 70% of the people in this country want a, uni a universal single-payer health care system, but they don't get it. Why? Because, the, the, because of the, the, the medical uh, industrial lobby. Most people in this country don't want insurgency wars and interventionist wars, but we get it. Why? Because of the military-industrial complex. You know, most people are for a Green New Deal, if it's explained to them correctly, to move towards solar and wind, not have an electric bill, Right? 
I, people will love that shit. To have panels or be able to buy solar fuel, solar energy from the grid. But we don't get it. Why? Because of the fossil fuel lobby. Right? See what's going on? The corporations call the shots. The people don't call the shots. Right? All those three, de- all those three, you know, deals. The people of Venezuela are fighting against oligarchy, and and winning, holding off the holding the oligarchs out. Right? And and in in France, they let the oligarchs in. Now they're trying to kick them out, and and they're they're sort of winning. But you see always where the oligarchy, just look where, the, look where the, the mainstream media, what they cover. They won't cover Venezuela. They cover Venezuela as, as if we're somehow saving the country from, from the evil tyrants without any evidence of any tyranny. The ty- we're the tyranny. The, the Americans right now are the tyrants, right? And then they, they flash to, 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 uh, to the yellow vests if they even do anymore. I don't, I don't know. On mainstream media, and as if to say that that they're 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 radicals, they're antifa, right? They're they're um, they they're socialists. They want socialism. <laughs> right? uh, but meanwhile, it's 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 people fighting against. It's the ninety nine percent fighting against this one percent. You know the banks and the corporations that just want it all. They don't know anything else. They just want to take it all. Uh, Marcus Conti reporting on this very cold day in New York.